Okay. Alright guys, Go so uh, like I said, keep the comments coming. Really appreciate all of you guys' comments on uh, YouTube. So I will bring up the ones that I want to talk about. Uh, Sheldon Tucker, old school family member, he's been here around forever. So his question was, uh, my, what to do when the other user sacks back as a center against a pick and roll, like a catch hedge, like how do you attack that? So for this one, I suggest you guys obviously watch uh, today's tutorial because uh, that one, it shows you how to attack the sack defender, right? Like, you, have you guys seen the tutorial today? The one that I showed you how to get relentless finishing? Have you guys seen that? I've seen it. That's actually money footage. Yeah, so if you ever, if you guys see a center who sacks back into the paint in previous year, that is a very, very good strategy because you, you, you guys know, right? You warp into the defender. Like the defender will warp you into his body and then you just get stuck and nothing happens. But this year, if you guys watch the Relentless Finisher video, I'll show you the, the clips later. You will blow by the other guy. Like you will dip him and then you'll get right around him. So just so for those of you who are struggling against a sagging defensive center, just watch my Relentless Finisher bash tutorial and you'll solve that problem. And remember, right, like, I call them badge tutorials because they help you get badges, but really, you can use them in any game mode. Like, it will kill online or offline. It's just an individual move, right? So make sure you guys watch that to destroy sagging center. So Sheldon, there you go. That's my way of answering your question. But like I said, always keep the comments coming. You guys know I always watch. I Like, I always read all of your comments and I try to answer all of them. And here's another one by uh, Curtis Haunt. He was talking about the uh, pick and roll tutorial, so like the one where I showed you guys the RC slip and the katana. That one, he's right though. Like when I designed that move, it's actually designed for people like off-ball slashers who can kind of run the pick and roll. Like think Igudala. Like you can't really leave Igudala on the wing or in the corner because he's not that useful. He can maybe hit a free, but you don't really want to. But if you make him do a katana or RC slip because he can pass and he can slash, a katana and an RC slip is deadly. And chat, just have you guys try the RC slip? Can you guys do it? Money, can you do it? Yeah, the RC slip works for me. I'd give it probably 90% of the time. Like, it's it's completely it's broken. It's just broken 2K defense. Yeah, but if you guys. Let me know in the chat or in the comment section. Have you been like, have you been able to replicate that? Because if you have, like, that's good news for me. Like, that's the key. Because yeah. that's what I want to know if you guys can do. Oh, that. and if you're not able to replicate it, you probably are doing something wrong, and we can probably figure that out right yeah, now. Yeah, and I can help you with that. Yeah. What's the best mode to learn how to run plays in? If you want to learn how to run plays, I suggest just go to Hall of Fame. Or Freestyle Hall of Fame, yeah. Just play a computer game. Like, play against them. Don't care about the score. You lose by 100 points or you win by 40. doesn't matter. Just play the game. Keep running the play. That's how I lap plays. Because the practice mode is okay, but it's better when the defense is trying. Like, for me, it's a lot better when the defense is... I feel like it's a lot better when the defense is trying. And here is uh, another comment by Mosuna. He's telling me that his dudes lay up everything. Like, everything he does is a layup, even though it's like a wide open dunk. I do believe that's a 2k glitch thing. Like, I've had a, I've seen a guy really? that has, yeah, he has fully rated, uh, he's got all the badges, he's got everything for his uh, point guard slasher, and his guy just won't dunk. Like, really? No, I, I, don't be, I don't believe that, because when I was doing the relentless finisher, right, I, I was getting dunks, I was getting dunks even when I didn't think I could dunk it, like, and my guy is 70 overall, he's 70 overall, like, he, there's, there's no way I'm not, I'm having a problem, like, I don't know what the specific problem is, because I'm not watch, watching footage of him playing, like, I don't know what he's doing, but, like, like, for me, a lot of times, it, it to me, like, just what I'm thinking it could be is, like, one, you're not sprinting towards the basket, I guess. Uh, two, you're holding square too early. I did notice that this year, is that it used to be in, like, 2K17, you could start the running animation really early, and you just run from, like, the three-point line, and you dunk on somebody. But now, I think it is a little bit shorter, and you have to press square a little bit later. That could be it. It could be that you're just not getting open dunks. <laughs> But I did find the clip here. Let me show you guys the clip. There was a guy here. Let me see. see, this is his, uh, it's his 6 7 pure slasher. He's 85 overall and he's got all the badges. And he tries to go for the dunk here. 
Can you see the crit money? Yeah. Like you guys can see it too. Like it's just no dunk. I don't, like, I don't know what that's about. He's got his 85 rated guy. It doesn't. I I don't I don't have that problem. I I I don't understand how that could be. Do, do you not have dunk animations equipped? Maybe like maybe that's it. Um, you know what guys, because we know money can dunk for sure, so I'll probably just put up his information on his build and his packages just to help you guys on that end, because I have been hearing that a lot, so I'll put up yeah, money's packages and then you guys can see it. Yeah, it's a 6-6, six, six, um, shooting guard, uh, driving and finishing, and playmaking and handling as the secondary. I'm worried this could be a, uh, this could be a... What, what, what I want to say, this could be like a problem with point guards. Like, if you have a point guard, even whatever they are slashing or whatever, they just won't dunk it. I'm worried. It's was like that, that that guy wasn't a point guard though, was he? I think he no, he said he was a point guard. He's a maximum size point guard. I think this is a point oh, guard. Oh, okay. Issue. I was so, gonna say he looks really thick. So, let me know in the chat, guys. Is this is a point guard issue if you're struggling with a point guard. And for those of you who love my money plays and my freelance tutorial, those will be coming this week. And right now, I'm gonna give you guys a preview my first money play and freelance action of the year. So I'm gonna show it to you guys and let me know how you feel. I showed the, the, the I guess the beta version to Money and he hated it. <laughs> it just looks so... Money uh, hated Okay, so here comes the first preview of my SamFam. First Money Play Freelance Preview. Let me know if you guys like this play. Money, you can watch the better version this time. Okay. And you judge it fairly. Okay, watch guys, this is me using the box. And this is actually a lot of stuff that's going on. I won't talk about it because I'll break it down in a tutorial, but this works like magic. Is that okay, Money? Is that better? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. That's my first Money Play Freelance action, but yes, Money? Now, now how, how, how consistent is that if that if that's Giannis in the corner, right? Yes, if, Giannis. If Giannis is, uh, is a shooter, does that stay as consistent? You mean as you cut in? Oh, no, no. I can make the shooter cut in and a non-shooter cut out. That's the thing about this thing. Let me go back because if you guys look at it here, actually, what I'm really proud of is the fact that, let me pause it. If you look at the two corners, it's Giannis and Jabari Parker. Both of those dudes can't shoot, okay? Like, they can't shoot. And the guy, the other guy on the wing is Middleton. He can shoot. Fawnmaker is the center, but you guys know Fawnmaker actually has a really good free on 2K. So I am using my shooters to create space and my no, two non-shooters to get the basket while my handler does his handler job. So watch. I'm going to use the pick. I'm going to hand it off to Jabari who can't shoot, but he's going to get into the lane. And that brings LeBron over because LeBron is going to come over because Giannis can't shoot. But the, the action, the freelance and the money play triggers non-shooters to dive and shooters to stay outside. And the key is, if I go, wait, can I, if I go one more time? The most beautiful thing about this is focus on Farmaker, guys. As Atenta Buko cuts in, Farmaker feels the wing. You see that? Now you get, and Brockton's open too, so this action deadly and i love it so i will show you guys this tutorial on how to do this maybe friday there's more there's okay. there's a few more reads to it too isn't there oh that's way more reads this is yeah. one action i got a million of these i think i think you showed me a few other things too yeah but to trigger this guys on 2k 18 this year is not easy i showed money all the problems you will go through before you can trigger something like this right there's a lot. that that little one of the things is that little handoff over there is is really the handoff on the left side is really hard to get like the really good animation where you like toss it and he's like full running and, and it's like... not just that right guys like because handoff and receiver control are both new that kind of messed up like right here <coughs> i actually use receiver control and handoff and to do that you need to change your settings because right now currently on default you can either only use receiver control and no handoff or handoff and no receiver control but there is actually a way right. to set up your control settings you can use both so i gotta show you guys how to do that too because you need to have both to play awesome basketball awesome 2k basketball show yeah this is just a it actually ends up it actually ends up being like it adds a whole nother tool that you can control like but now there's three or four tools now that you can control two two people to three people on offense like this, that's really powerful i mean you have a lot more control over your offense all right super making shout out to super making supreme making <laughs> <You. laughs> and guys and uh this is one of the best things i actually found in the prelude that i didn't show i, I gotta read it off the phone. <laughs> i gotta read it off the phone so i'm getting my phone out <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't show you guys on Prelude, I showed money, because I show money everything first, because he, he's my guy. But, 
I couldn't show you guys on the prelude because I don't want to knock the game when I don't have the full game, right? Because that, that's just not right. You shouldn't knock the game when you don't have the full game. So I didn't bring it up. But now that I have the full game, I can bring this up. And for those of you, just watch this as I read to you. You guys remember every year 2K hypes up the game and they send us the preview and everything like that? Uh, so, so, you guys remember the hype. I'm gonna read you guys the hype article they wrote for themselves. The promise they made to you in the defensive AI rotations. And this is 2K18 gameplay. So I'm gonna read the block. I'm gonna read the block and you guys can just watch. The adaptive coaching engine has changed the game in the sports gaming industry. However, we believe that in order for this system to go to the next level, we need to get back to the fundamentals and knock out some deficiencies that have hindered the system as Draymond Green scores non -stop. With that said, uh, we have done some change of positioning in 2K. This is 2K, okay? This is not, these, are, these are their exact words. In previous year, an off-ball defensive setting, like moderate, has always meant the same thing, meaning you were one pass away or you're going to be X feet away. This is where we need to inject some more authenticity to the game because in the NBA, the setting can have multiple distances and responsibilities depending on the situation. As Kevin demonstrates to us that that works great. And yes, playset and action and recognition. Yeah, you read, you read this correctly. Your CPU teammates now have the ability to recognize a set, an action is running, and adjust on the fly. This is one of the biggest things you hardcore Xs and O players will recognize immediately. This also played a substantial role in Ace. Every team knows how hard a player is and adapt according to the set of action the player is in. Apparently Kevin Love can't adjust to crap. <laughs> and guys, this is not It's just so bad. And uh, last oh, note, man. this was something, the defensive perceptions apparently is something 2k overhaul this year. And something that we're gonna love. Finally, the defense is popping next to the location like you were in a shell drill. Something you're going to notice immediately is the impact of elite defenders off ball when he can read the pass animation depends on the defender's IQ. Whoo! That's their hype and this is the game. This is the RC slip that I've showed you guys as you know. And this will get patched. This, this will be get patched. This will get patched. This will get patched. But the thing is... It will. They said that to us. And then, when me and Money watched the blog, actually, Money caught this. I'll show you guys the original blog. I actually didn't catch this, too. It was this clip. Watch this clip, guys. It was the Lakers and, uh... There you go. Oh, that's fast. Why do they do it so fast? So, you see, guys... Let me open this. It clip. only works in 3-2, yeah. Right, so the slip defenders that's come over. You see this? This is Lonzo Ball and Julius Randle. Is this Sicily? I don't know who this is. I can't tell. So, he's gonna slip the pick. But I see slip. Obviously, Subak is going to come over. So, when we, me and Money saw this, Money said it. He's like, Julius Randle was an idiot. Obviously. But I was like, well, at least Subak came over. Which is true. But then, but right. then, I took it to uh, the prelude. And I was like, hold on a second. What if we put this in spread for one spacing? And if you put this in spread for one spacing, this is what you get. Guys, just look they at it. They don't Kevin. even try. It's like they don't even try to No, no, it. the funniest thing in this is LeBron. Guys, look at LeBron Twitch. It's like, should I help? Or maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, Kevin, you got this? LeBron, I got it, I got it. LeBron, don't help, I got it. Jail, go away. Oh, crap. Oh, I gotta edit that out, no sweat. <laughs> I'll beat that. And then, yeah, this is, this is a struggle. And for those of you, it was who in the prelude. It was in the prelude. For those of you who are saying, you know, this is 2K year, this is in the prelude, it won't work in the full game. Uh, it does. Of course it does. Check out my RC slip, working in full glory in hardhead Hall of Fame gameplay on Patrick Beverly and DeAndre Jordan, no less, and Al Horford and Kyrie Irving. So you see me running it here, and this works all the time. Just I'm just bringing this up because obviously. 2K's gotta patch this because if you guys run this in a hard hedge, it's auto points. Like money, look at this. Like what should they be doing here? What's the correct? It's basically, way? one they probably just shouldn't be hedging. But if they're gonna hedge that hard, the opposite wing needs to rotate all the way and bump the roll man, and then the second off, off it, the second off wing, like the second wing on the weak side, needs to rotate and basically guard both people on the side. He basically needs to guard two people and then whoever that whoever the offense passes to like in the skip pass first into the corner then that's who that person guards it's hard to, it's hard to explain in words so obviously against the computer they stand no chance like i mean if, right. you, if you hate them do it 
<laughs> like, I mean, look at the Clippers here. Look at, look at, look at all three of them right in there. Oh, oh, we go, we go. Oh, guys, guys, guys. One more time, one more time. One more time, one more time. We, we gotta, we gotta. Watch the Clipper defenders. Watch the Clipper defenders. We got the paint, boys. Oh, you all here? You know what? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Don't all leave one day. <laughs> it's so bad. It's just bad. I don't even know. How, can we stop? Can we stop looking at no, this? No, but I gotta show you guys this because obviously against computer, whatever. It's you're gonna kill them. Why? Leave them alone. But against humans, this is a problem because you need to change your defensive defensive settings so these rotations don't happen. Like these are the incorrect rotations during hard hedge. And if you don't have the correct settings, this is gonna happen to you. Now, you can try to cover it by being one guy, but like I said, you saw free clippers go into the paint there. You can't control free clippers, okay? You can right. control one. So I'll teach you guys the settings to avoid these problems. Like, I never really do these to break the game or score 100 points on Hall of Fame. I'm not about that, money knows that. Right, right. But I need to figure well, these things out because I need to know what, how to fix them in defensive settings for you guys right. when you play against humans and myself. Well, yeah. let's, let's not forget that a slip in a pick and roll is a very commonly used NBA tactic. This is not cheesy. This isn't zigzagging across the court. This is slipping a pick and roll. This is a fundamental NBA basketball move and they can't guard it. So it, it's a problem. I mean, it's it's really bad. It's especially bad because it's not even a cheesy play. It's literally a basketball fundamental play. <laughs> Jefferson said you're shoving your mic down your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, right. Apparently, I laughed a little bit too hard at the uh, uh, <laughs> at Scott OG. Oh, hold on, let me let me lower Money's voice a bit. Then it's not even the Scott OG thing, though. It's like, why would they say that in the blog when it's like blatantly obvious? Like, like I just showed you what's wrong. But one thing, no, do not do pace, guy. Uh, family, don't do pace freelance. I I'll show you the freelance. It's warriors. Warriors freelance, right? Is that, is it's, that what? it's more than that, but I'll show you guys. Like, but don't do pace. If you have to play right now, play in Warriors for now until I show you guys a tutorial. But don't do pace. There's a lot of problems in many freelancers. I have to discuss that in detail later. But uh, one thing to another, there is better katana defense in 2K18. Obviously, you guys saw the RC slip works all the time. The katana money will tell you it worked all the time last year. This year, better. Like, look at it here. They cut them off. It's much less speed boosting too. But if you do it again, I mean, if you do the katana well, you're still gonna score. But it's not like OP, like the Arsenal slip. But this is probably better. But you guys, it's, it's better. Yeah, it, it is a lot better. But you're still gonna learn this because it works really well on humans. It's just a surprise tactic. Like against a human user, I'll show you guys online gameplay later once I have the defensive settings all finished. Like it, it it's not gonna help you score 100 points. But when you're playing against another human player and you're doing pick and roll really well. And if you right. pretend to run a pick and roll and you sneak in this, you get two points. And in an online game, if you get five points, six points, or four points out of this, that could be a difference between a win and a loss. So that's why you want to add this in, right? I think when I first introduced this, introduced this in 2K16, it worked every time online. Yeah, people, it's really it's really good because a lot of like online people play really high up, like really way up onto the end of the half court line. So then when you pass, they don't expect you to just full sprint towards the basket. They they get beat every time. Especially those people who only play on ball defense. Yeah, this hurts them. Oh, good question, Cody. Uh, my shooting this year is not nearly as good as last year because I believe you no longer get a shooting boost if you line up the right stick at the correct angle. I think that's gone because I think if you guys remember last year in the shooting meeting, it is gone. If you shoot it straight, no, it, it's gone. I know it's gone. If you shoot it straight or if you shoot a little bit to the left, like you, you get a boost for shooting it straight. So I worked on that and I got really good at it. Money will let money will let you know I was really good at that. Yeah, it was too hard to play against them because you can green like everything at that point. But because they took that out now, so the only advantage I have in shooting, instead of this feather touch of the angle, is just timing. And my timing was actually never that great. I was very good at angling the stick, so it was always right. But now they took it out, so in 2K now, if you want to up your shooting percentage, it's all about timing. And if your timing is off, it's going to hurt you. Because the angle thing is gone. So in case you guys don't know, that's gone. It's, it's even more than that too, is it like, they were right and they said that they're going to base more on getting open shots so now you can't get your you can't bail yourself out by just 
holding the right stick in the perfect way and you'll still hit a shot that you really yeah, shouldn't hit. That was me it's, last year. Well, you could do it. I mean, it's, you I play know, the it's game gone now. to I win. Know. I know, but it's gone. I'm a little bit upset about that. I am. Okay, but, but which is better, square shooting or right stick then? Because uh, I you, use square all the time. For you guys, uh, this is my tip. Works with me my whole life. Set Wide open set shots, I use the stick. But when it's a pull up, I use square because it's faster. Because when you pull up, it's a small window, right? Like if you dribble pull up, you get in there, that's, you have a very small window of opportunity to get an open shot, like an uncontested shot by the ratings. And a square shot is faster. It's faster than stick. A square shot is faster than stick? Is it really? Yeah, because to trigger a stick shot, because if you have default dribbles on, if you flick the stick, it's a dribble. So to trigger a stick shot, you gotta hold the stick all the way down. But to trigger a square shot, you just gotta click it. The moment you click square, the shot's going up because it leads to a pump fake. But when you're leading the right stick, it's not a pump fake. It's thinking you want to dribble, and then as you hold it, it becomes a shot. It's we're talking like maybe. Yeah, we're talking very small. We're yeah. talking milliseconds, but I can't. Yeah, I think it comes down to two. Is just like which one are you better at? Like which one do you get more greens at? Like I, I don't. I, I think it's really gonna come down to what have you been using the last three years. And nothing's really changed to make you change from square or right stick. That, as far as we know, I don't. I, I just, think it's worth whatever it. works. I like, think it's <laughs> worth it if it's a panic shot or ISO shot or dribble pull up square because it's faster. I, I was very bored one day and I timed it. It's like zero point one five seconds. If anyone cares, you actually timed it. I timed it. It's it's one tenth of a second faster. That makes it different. Of a second fast. That it actually it. can. I mean, in some situations, it really can. But last year, I would tell you to do the right stick because you get the angle boost. But this year, you don't get the angle boost. So you might as well go to square and take the extra one tenth of a second. Daisy's right, though. The right stick shooting is usually great for moves like floaters. You do have more control in terms of where, which hand you finish with in layups and which hand in just doing specific finish moves and things like that. Maybe drive with right stick? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so next thing, Rhythm Escape ISO. Let me know in the comments and the chat. I know you guys hate off-ball defenders. And I, I don't like, really care, but I know why you guys hate them. But if they off-ball you this year, you can just hit them with the Rhythm Escape ISO. And I spelled escape wrong all those years of English education down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my professors are going to be pissed. Okay, so this is me against Patrick Beverly. This is on Hall of Fame. So obviously I want to show it to you guys on Hall of Fame because an off-ball defender doesn't play on-ball defense. So one of the best on-ball defenders in 2K is Beverly. And you can see me do the rhythm escape ISO that I showed you guys. You, you get points. If, you, if they pin you, spin back. So the point to this is if they play off-ball defense online, do not be afraid of ISO. Just do the rhythm, signature dribble, escape, and blow by them. And so attack the hip. Attack the hip. Like we said earlier, you have to attack the hip. Like every time he does it, you're attacks the hip and he seals his defender out and this is uh, my uh, triple threat spin spin jump back to the pass ah, like that. Okay, that, that that's pretty that's pretty nasty i, I like that i can actually I do agree. The, i can actually do this a lot but i i, I don't know if, if i can make a tutorial on this because it's just like it takes the right circumstances but there you go if you spin in there and you see the other big man helping on you just square double spin auto assist you can see it Square again here. Double spin auto assist. You can see it again here. Like watch. What? The? <laughs> that is that is completely cheese. There's no way that would ever happen in an NBA game. Yeah, <laughs> it works. And uh, before we, I start showing you guys the uh, money stuff, where he's really good at attacking the ship. Just feel funnier pictures I want to show you that I found on Reddit recently. Picture number one. That's Kevin Durant and Draymond Green playing 2K together. <laughs> oh, oh man. That's, that's great. That's perfect. And KD's asleep too if you look at him. This is so bad. And for those of you uh, who's been ever cheesed by 2K, you cannot be cheesed more than this guy. So everyone pray for this guy. Watch. This oh, I've it. seen this. I, you saw I this think too? a lot of people have seen I know, this. I know. Yeah. But we just gotta look at it together because oh, this is so 2K. No! Oh, are you kidding me? This guy needs oh. help. <laughs> oh. Oh. I I would have probably broken a window. I, I, I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm actually pretty. That, I feel really bad for this guy. One more time. Look at. Don't look at the game. Look at his reaction. Just look at him. Look at him. Look at him. No! Are you kidding me? Look at. 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 Look at
right now. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. You guys wouldn't see me on stream again if that happened. Okay, so nobody I'd gets never, to complain because I'd never come back. Through. I'd stick to Overwatch. Uh, on ball defense, is it bad this year? Uh, you mean manually? Manually is way better than computer. If you are playing computer as your on ball defense this year, it, it's over for you. You'll get destroyed. Like I showed you guys earlier yeah. in the ISO moves. No. You, you, I guess you can leave the computer. You, ha you have to pretty much bump the user and switch back to off ball. Because on lower difficulties, right? I mean, if you're playing my team, like if you're playing my team or you're playing play now, it's lower difficulties. You guys saw me kill Beverly earlier. So if someone's playing off, you gotta do the on ball yourself and off ball. So this year is all about on ball, off ball, on ball, off ball. I'll show you guys the defensive tutorials on those later. I really think it comes down to like what we're about to explain here is the weakness of the the even now in Hall of Fame AI. The weakness is that you can just attack the hip and just completely seal them off. They give you a line to the basket every single time. It doesn't even really matter. It doesn't matter what move you do, you just blow by them, pretty much. So, and that's a concept that uh, you guys, and us too, that we all have to adapt to and uh, understand. Because money footage is going to show you this year, if you hit the hip, don't be afraid of warping, finish through it. Money is very good at it, that's why I use this footage in the tutorial. This is a better camera angle, just watch money go in here. So this is usual, right? You guys blow by the corner and succeed, but oh, money, you talk about this, I love this one. When you marry space, I love this. Oh, look at money right the hip there! Yeah. <laughs> it's just back, like, they, they, they give you the line. You don't even need to do a move. You just dribble at their hip and, and he just opens up for you. That's it. Like, he just completely opens up and lets you dunk on him. Like, he, he does what he does. That's what okay. I, he does what I call the Matador. He, look at where he says, Bates. Just like this. <laughs> oh. It's just like, it's, it's not. It's not hard. Like, there's so many tutorials on about like crazy dribble move that you get by him every time. Just drive right at their hip; they'll open up for you. You don't even need to. You just need don't to need to do a move. You just need the dribble move so that you are on his hip. Like, because you can't drive at his chest. But if you just use one dribble right. move and get to the guy's hip, like you're golden. Like, what? Watch money Q. Is this Haslam or White? Oh, this is White side. Money, damn. Yeah, that's White side. Ooh, and foul. He just he just chucks me though. That's different. I got White side to foul out. This is, this in is the third quarter, I think. I think it's this clip, actually. I think it, I think it is. Let me move this. You got him foul in three quarters? Yeah. Oh, damn. And I, I don't even play full minutes yet. Like I only played like 15 minutes that game, I think. There you go, guys. Drive at the hip. And I guess another thing we need to talk about here, obviously, this is a ice defense problem. Because for you guys that know basketball, let me go back. Like, this is when the thing is on the wing. It's time to ice, because you want to get like the baseline going. But then look at Valentunas, money. Look at Valentunas. Right. Money, just look at him. Yep. Like, this is where he doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, and you. Oh, dude, that lay, that layup's sick. That was that was just lucky though. That. that... <laughs> but you, and guys, do this... they not? Oh, do well, they not call charges? I've never seen not once. I've played probably. I don't know how many games I've played. I've played a lot of games. I have like four different my players, and I've not seen a charge called on me once. I've not seen it. And this so is, I don't think you need to worry about that. And this is a Hall of Fame too. I, I I've been playing too with my uh, shooting guard ball handler. No no charges either. Because this year it's the hip thing, right? I mean, if you keep pushing to, to their chest, maybe you'll get a charge. But if you attack the hip, it's right. over. Because you're not you're not attacking into their you're not attacking into their chest. Like even in the real NBA, this wouldn't be a a charge because you're attacking at their hip that's and, it and, like, they, and they have this animation the warping thing is gone oh posterizing oh layup i like it so you were well, i guess you didn't get the dunks here either because it wasn't a clear path but you got a few dunks you got quite a bit i got i got multiple dunks yeah you're just not showing them you're showing all the layups right now oh because i really like this clip though what you did to the rose in here like guys if you look at this like that's commitment to hip riding like that's the thing. Yeah, that's the but it got game. me a wide open layup. Like he just, he never really, he gave it to me. He he didn't even try to not to, to take my line back from him. Like he just let me have it. But like like I said in the tutorial today, just make sure you guys do set the pick on this side because you want to go baseline. Like if you go middle, it's not a good. Team. Set the pick on this side, and if you need to switch pick side. Click R two, right? But yeah, I've nice. also noticed there's a couple different ways you could do it. I don't know if we talked about in the video or not, but clearing out the corner can be good at some situations. And then 
keeping the man in the, the, the your guard in the left corner there it can it can be helpful to have him there and it can be sometimes be not helpful at all sometimes they help from there sometimes they don't like you do you have to kind of read and react to it sometimes the weak side help just everybody crashes on you and then 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 it's normally better to play the guy in the corner that way it takes away one of the help defenders this is nasty though how tall am i i'm five seven five six I'm decent at basketball, if anybody wanna see some in real life clips. There is a lot of YouTubers out there that I will beat one on one. If they're not uh, if they're not way taller than me, I'll take it to them. Hold on, hold on. How how is this cheese? Game gamer tech this, this is just taking cheese. this is just taking someone's line. Like this isn't I'm not doing anything unrealistic basketball. If cheese means broken in the game, then then yeah. But this is completely this is completely realistic. Watch Chris Paul. Every time he beats somebody, he gets right right in their line. He gets between them and the basket every single time. That's why Chris Paul is so good. Oh, that's nice. It's not cheese game attack. It's really bad AI defense though. But at the same time, that's, right? That's good dip pitch. Like this is not cheese. This is this is dip pitch. This is this is nice angle stick control into the dip. It's a realistic Ooh. move. Like this is, if you go to like an NBA training camp right now, I guarantee you, you will hear uh, some trainers say, "You need to take their line better. You need to take a better line towards the basket." And that's all I'm doing here. I and we can all take money's word for it in basketball tactics because he's actually pretty good at basketball in real life. His career though was ended by Lonzo Ball. Sorry, money, I have to bring that up. Uh, money's last game was versus <laughs> Lonzo Ball, and he lost. Yeah, I've played against the Chino Hills team that everybody talks about with Lamelo and Leangelo and Lonzo. That was like the number one team ever. That they got was, like 130 points against us. And that was Money's uh, final career game. It's okay, Money. You lost. Yeah. You lost to Lonzo. It's fine. I still don't know if I like Lonzo for it or if I don't like. Do I go for Lonzo and make that? Because that makes me like. Yeah, I man, lost to dude. Future Hall of Famer. Exactly, or man. Man, you know how competitive I am, though. Like, That's all I would talk about. I hold my a last, grudge, No, man. my last career game in high school was because it was because I lost the Lonzo Ball in the playoffs. I don't care. I'll be like, I lost the Lonzo Ball in the playoffs. Woo! <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I I I go back and forth on it. Some of my old teammates see they talk about it too, and they're like, some of them are proud of it. Some of them are like, I don't want to talk about that game. You guys know how like just humiliating it is to have a team drop 130 points on you in high school. What's it's Lau? dominance. Oh, what's but Lau? they kind of did. Hold on, what? I'm oh, sorry. Lau is just asking quick ISO then pick and roll. I know, money. It's okay. You lost the so Be proud of it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Oh, man. Richie, Rich. Quick, quick ISO then pick and roll. I did that sometimes and I didn't do that other times. I'm not sure the ISO really matters as long as you don't start the pick and roll. If you start going off the screen as your people are trying to set up, then you are doing it wrong if you if you set up the pick and roll let all the wings they all get set up on the three-point line then you go then I, I then you're doing it right i don't think the quick oh. iso makes any a big difference to that specific move at least and for the quick pick and roll i actually always do a quick iso it depends on you but this year like i'll show you guys in the freelance tutorial later some of the quick iso stuff in freelance is broken can i is that i showed money would you consider that broken money i think so right not fully the broken. quick eyes the stuff i showed you I think the quick ISO changes the way that the the AI defense guards. Oh no, it not may that. not be cheese, but like. But I mean, the spacing for the user is bad. I will show you guys that in a freelance tutorial. Sometime oh, this week. you're talking about that. I'm talking about that. Oh, you're talking about the two guys standing next yeah, to each yeah, other yeah. in the corner, no matter what you do, every well, single time. Unless I unless I fix it, I'll right. show you guys in the clips later. There's a there's some problems. There's a lot of problems with that that you guys probably don't notice. At the, like we're at the we're looking at Curry and Clay in the left corner, standing yeah. both in the corner with horrible spacing it's it's really bad iso space i'll talk about how to fix that in the tutorial right. but if you guys got any more questions leave in the comment ask in the stream the tutorials this week was mostly individual move focus any more questions in the stream i ran out of video so if you guys got questions i can answer it now you can ask in the chat but uh, majority of the moves i've showed you guys is all individual moves starting after maybe on wednesday there will be team oriented stuff so freelance money play defensive settings everything that works of combining all your players working together and i will have one of the greatest one of the greatest shooting that that eye limitless range tutorials of all time 
yeah it's pretty it's like 41 i think it was 41 out of 59 41 out of 59 frees yeah and, and we, it, it was like an average of man it was i think it was an average of 69 70 70 percent scored 100 average of scored 100 yeah. score 162 points in 27 minutes on my career yeah got hall of fame hall of fame limitless and dead eye and i don't know how many games i think it was like three or four games i got i gotta show you guys that like legendary yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, so if you guys need the Deadeye, Limitless Range, and all those shooting badges, just keep an eye out for tutorial coming somewhere probably Tuesday, Wednesday, or first day. Woo, it's gonna be great. 162 points in 27 minutes. 162 points in 27 minutes. Yeah, the, it's, it's ridiculous. 162 points. That shouldn't be possible, but it is. The best playbook this year so far is the Warriors playbook. I will be focusing on that on Money Play, so if you don't have it, buy that, I guess, if you're on my team. Probably very expensive already, but get that. That's my how does how does the sub screen look like? Did they put the POEs back in on the matchup screen? Did they? No. You, you no, 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 the PO, I don't call the, timeouts. The POEs are not there. You, we're still screwed on that. You're still going to do those later. Yeah. It's pretty annoying. Okay, right? also, have you played NBA Live? No, I played. I haven't. I played the year before when it was, I think, Westbrook on the cover, but I haven't played NBA Live. I don't have time, what? guys. If I need to make you good quality 2K tutorials, I can't focus on another basketball game. <laughs> yeah, they're two two different games. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah I, don't, I just think the more life I, I play, I also think 2K is just way better. The more it, oh, it is way better. Sad. The more life I play, the less 2K tutorials you guys are gonna get, and that's just not that just doesn't make sense for you or me. <laughs> All right. Right. Rocky asks, how do you really put dribble combos effectively that get your defenders off their feet? Uh, I oh. always I always used to go into just a freestyle just by myself and then just doing all the moves. Just going behind the back, behind the back, behind the back, behind the back, behind the back. Between the legs, between the legs, between the legs, between the legs. And you just do all the moves. That way when you're in a game, you can combo and go between the legs, behind the back, crossover, spin. And you just do it smooth. That's, that's how I always did it. And I think I'm I think I'm pretty good at actually just creating space without even a rhythm dribble or anything. And also, Rocky, uh, if you want to do that, practice the rhythm escape dribble. Watch the tutorial. I think it's tutorial number one. It is number one. Best dribble combo this year so far. So watch. Flick the right stick forward. That starts the... And then you hold turbo, flick it to either side, probably the left because it's more open here. Once you see the separation, hold turbo, push left stick, steer in the defender, blow by him. Best, yep. com best combo move this year. And again, taking the hip like that. Right. Driving right at his hip and just taking it. Yeah, the it's, only... It's like the biggest thing in 2K18. Right? Exactly. The only reason I hopped out is not to, like, get by him. See, in this, at this point, at this point, this is over. Because my hip is beyond his hip. And all I gotta do now is just to put my hip on his hip. Then it's overwatch. Like, even he cuts me off decently here. He's already going too fast in right direction. So I spin back as a counter. Still works. Yep. You attacked one hip, and then you attacked the other hip. Yep. <laughs> so what? This time, okay. Beverly didn't really catch up. See, too much separation now, right? Out of the escape. That which is whole turbo, flick the right stick to left or right. See, watch. My hip seals him. He's done. Let's go ride him out. Yeah. Make sure you yep. ride them out. Don't panic. Ride him out and finish it through. All I right? have yet to have them steal it from me. I have yet to have a charge called. The only way I've ever had a turnover doing this is if I make a bad pass or I make a bad shot or something like that. Oh, look at that spin. That's dirty. All right, guys. So thanks for coming to the live stream. Uh, if you got any more questions, ask. Defensive settings coming. My team is coming. Uh, the greatest shooting limitless badge tutorial of all time is coming. God, I can't wait for that one. It is pretty good, yes. It's better than anybody else's. It's better than what I can do, damn. <laughs> it is better than what you can do. I just, you <laughs> like, this is insane. All right, guys. So thanks for coming to the stream today. Uh, thanks for hanging on the chat. I'll see all of you again next Monday. I do plan to do this uh, throughout the course of the entire year. There will be online gameplay once I have the defensive settings down too. Then I will show you guys full gameplay. Because if I need to make tutorials for you guys, I need to lab before I play. So obviously I'm labbing. So once all the labbing is done, probably two or three weeks. Lots and lots of gameplays. And I'll play you guys too. I'll play money. I'll also play my... Uh, I'll play yeah, money. I'm going to get beat so bad. I can't. I don't know. I have we, have, we, have some, we have some legendary games. I don't know, man. You know we I'm did have some legendary games, but that was years ago, and I stopped playing 2K for a oh, long time there. Long time. Alright guys, thanks for coming, and if you missed the stream, don't worry, it will be in the archive sometime tomorrow at noon. So, Posterizer dunk recommendation. 
is the relentless finisher video earlier today. What about it? Post it right down. Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think he just wants a way to get a post riser dunk. That's how I read that. I'll show you the build later, but I have, my guy doesn't dunk, money guys dunk, so he would know. But I'll find out for you guys for that later. But I'm going to go grab dinner. Thanks for coming to the stream, and I will see all of you next time. See ya.